Hi, my name is Aaron Lindsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Welcome to Seaport Village, the little shopping mecca in downtown. Seaport Village is one of the most unique shopping places and eating districts in the entire county. I mean, San Diego has a lot of malls. There, there's Fashion Valley, Mission Valley, uh, Las Americas, North County Fair, UTC, Carlsbad, uh, yeah, I don't know. And almost all of them own, are owned by Westfield. And Westfield controls most of the malls, and if not all the, oh, uh, Plaza Bonita, we used to call it Plaza Bonita, in the county. However, when you go to the malls, ostensibly, other than slight variations like the Apple Store and Fashion Valley, they all have the same stores. However, I've got a place for you, Seaport Village. It's right on the corner of downtown, just down the way from the Embarcadero next to the Hyatt Towers. This is a neat little place because it's got all the shops you've never heard of, but are much more interesting. Yes, they've got the classic t-shirt shops, uh, Crazy Shirts, San Diego Board, uh, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll show you in the video clips here. So let me cut to the video clips and you'll see some of the shops. The unique thing about Seaport Village is that it's totally different. It's completely on the water. So when you're here, you can actually look right across to Coronado Island and North Island Naval Air Base. If you're interested in seeing U.S. aircraft carriers, uh, the nuclear Nimitz class, I think it's 71, and I, I don't know which other one is in port, but this is a great place to go check that out because unless you're part of the Navy service and you can get on base and get near them, it, ever since 9-11, party over. We used to actually be able to go over there and tour around with friends who are in the Navy, but no more. So Seaboard Village is actually a very good place to come and check out the boats. but. That's not why most people come down here. And in fact, one of the most coolest things around here, there's a rock stacker guy. Right now he's got a stack of rocks that's six feet tall. And he's got this huge rock stacked on it. No glue, no pins. I have no idea how this guy does this. It's totally magical to me. I barely stuck two rocks and it falls down. I am not a Jenga master. But that's one of the fun things. Also, there's. Uh, limited parking, but a lot of people uh, do henna tattoos, your name on a bracelet in five minutes, uh, tarot cards, all sorts of crazy stuff. This is also the starting point where it used to be for the, I think it's the San Diego Half Marathon. That was pretty fun. So when you come to Seaport Village, the first challenge you're going to have is parking. Woo! Parking, yeah, like most popular tourist places. You can park in the paid parking lots, that's an option. Or there's two ways to get into Seaport. One's closer to the Embarcadero and one's closer to the Hyatt, the Grand Hyatt. If you go to the Grand Hyatt, you'll come across a couple parking lots. Local secret, if you go past there, behind to the point of land where the park is, there's actually parking a lot of the times. Now here's another super local secret. After six o'clock, at least as I remember, the meters aren't enforced anymore. If you get a ticket, don't blame me. It's not my fault. It's yours. But if the meter is only enforced like 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., you come after six o'clock, that's right, free parking. So that's uh, definitely one way to go here. <laughs> but when you walk around Seaport Village, it's kind of like this little MC Escher maze. There's a there's bridges with ducks and little, uh, not herons, uh, egrets. They're flapping around, so it makes it a really fun experience. If you get worn out from all the walking, just take a park bench, watch the ducks play around. There, there's a guy that is usually out here, sometimes a lady, playing music. There was a guy playing Kenny G and all sorts of stuff, so that's pretty cool, and that's part of it. So it's not like a, uh, a musician that comes set up. This actually brought in by Seaport Village to play. And that just happens to be where all the food court is. Now the, the food here, there, there's actually quite a few options. There are a couple very expensive places, the Edgewater and there's a, there's a new place on the edge or uh, east side of Seaport. So that's pretty cool. There's a cookie company at the little tower. Oh, the cookies. But on the main food court area, 
on the west part of Seaport Village towards uh, Harbor Island, towards well, Coronado Island, is the food court has a pizza place, a, a gyro Greek place. I just ate at the fish place. I had a great grilled mahi fish tacos with a uh, what's it called a sourdough bowl. Oh, geez, that was so good. There is a burger place, and uh, <laughs> well, there's like two other places. I, I think there's a Ben and Jerry's in here. So the nice thing part is when you come to Seaport Village, you don't get trapped with no food. That, that's a challenge at the Embarcadero, where the uh, Marine Society and the Historical Group and the Star of Indian and all that is there's no food. At least there's food here, and there's several critical thing, bathrooms. Uh, in all three areas of this area, uh, Seaport Village, there are bathrooms available. So if you're doing the dance, like, oh, yeah, you can actually find a bathroom here. So if you're wandering around. Uh, also, one cool thing, if you go over to the Hyatt, when I grew up, there's only one tower here. You used to be able to go to the top of the Hyatt, and they've got this uh, lounge with very, very expensive drinks. You can walk to the back of this glass window and check out a view of the south of the city with the Bay Bridge or the Coronado Bridge. And that thing is spectacular. I think it's about 1.25 miles. If you want a cool crossing of the harbor to view the entire city, then drive across from San Diego to Coronado Island. Google it on your phone, check it out. It used to be, uh, it used to be a fee and toll booth, but now you can drive over that thing for free. Uh, put whoever wants to, to get the best view in the passenger seat, because that is the best view going over there. Totally cool. Um, as you can hear, there are boats, uh, there's sometimes jets flying around, F-18s, so Hornets taking off from NCAS Miramar, uh, or is it, no, it's not Miramar, it's a Naval Air Station, North Island. Sorry, Navy and Marine people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So, when you're here, it's not super quiet. I mean, when, when you go by the little ponds and things, perfectly beautiful. You just take a calm moment. But of course, you got the crying children, people riding their scooters. It's okay. But you come here for the shops. Yes, the shops. Now, one of the things about the shops in here is there are some stalwarts that have held out for a long time. And others, uh, like the Copper Store, I think they're just announcing that they're, they're going out of business. So it's, it's, it's a challenging location, like all retail. It's pretty brutal. Uh, one of the cool things I learned is the guy that runs the flag store, at least he used to, I don't know if he does now, but on the run up to the 4th of July, he gives away free little American flags to people, j just as a lead on to get into people, but also to be patriotic. So the people who run Seaport are totally cool. I, I love this place. There's a, an entire pirate shop. They've got old school brass lanterns and a pirate outside that talks to you. I, I don't have a pirate voice. Go, go, go watch Pirates of the Caribbean. That's totally neat. Uh, one of my favorites, the one shop I always go into here is called Hot Licks. If you want the best spicy sauce selection I've ever found in the county, Hot Licks is it. They have everything from, if you if you think bell peppers are too hot, yeah, you, you might as well eat a match now. They go up to jalapenos, and they have a serrano sauce, and it used to be habanero was the hottest pepper ever. Not anymore. Now it became the ghost pepper, ghost pepper, the boot jalokia from India. That thing is crazy hot. It's a lot more smoky. Then that was the hottest pepper for a while. Now, of course, there are hotter peppers for a while, and that's just discovered and commercialized. But now there's a scorpion pepper. There's this sauce that I eat in Jackson, at this, uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, at a place called The Bird. That scorpion pepper sauce, when I dip my wings in it and put it in my mouth, oh my gosh, it's the craziest thing ever. It's like an instant endorphin dopamine dump. I mean, I, I guess I've, I've never done drugs, but I guess if you do shrooms or LSD, it's probably like that, but it's totally legal. So if you want some insanely hot sauce, the Hot Lick store is perfect. Also, the coolest thing, they offer samples. And so a lot of times you get the manly men, I, I'm, I can handle it. <laughs> and they'll give you the little toothpick touch. And the guy's like, yeah, what's the big deal? 
and the girl behind the counter, <laughs> so the guy dips it in there, he puts it on his tongue, oh, this is fine. <laughs> yeah, they die. Uh, there, are several f <laughs> there are several fountains in the area, so if your face is totally on fire from eating some of that hot sauce, you can go jump in to the, the uh, fountain. Now, of course, if you jump in the fountain, you get arrested, hey, that's your thing. You've been warned, hot licks, crazy hot. Let, let's see, what other stores are in here? Oh, that, there, there's a store dedicated to tiles. It, it's pretty crazy, just those little four inch tiles that you can make names out of everything. Totally cool, there's uh, the, the little kids spinner store. They've got whirly gigs and just crazy mass stuff. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. There is one corporate in here. There's a Harley Davidson shop. So for all the people that don't have a Harley hat, a Harley headband, a Harley neck brace, a Harley vest, Harley leggings, Harley boots, Harley underwear, probably a Harley jock strap. Harley folks are hardcore. There's a Harley shop for you. Oh, let's see, what, what else is fun in here? Uh, a couple kids stores, so they have lots of toys. The mug store, oh, the mug store. If you're a coffee tea maniac and you want a cool tricked out mug for yourself, rather than your company's boring event 2017, I know I'm a motivational speaker, but the mug's kind of boring. Go into the, the mug shop, way fun. Uh, <laughs> I got my aunt, she's a, she's a cat person, so I got my aunt a mug that says everything tastes better with cat hair in it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, lots of other shops, I'll show you in some of the B-roll here. So this place is totally cool. There's even a Wyland gallery. If you've never heard of Wyland, man, this guy does the, the beautiful whale, porpoise, dolphin, undersea paintings. This guy has done murals all around the world. He's totally incredible. So definitely worthwhile. And the Wyland shop's much calmer, quieter. It's, I wouldn't say it's a really kid-friendly place. There's not a lot for kids to do in there. Lots of breakable things. But the Wyland shop, definitely worth a stop by. Also, there is a carousel, a historic carousel from the late 19th century. How cool is that? This carousel is a historic landmark. I think it started in Portland and moved around a bunch of places in California, Portland, Oregon, and uh, I think it was 2004, finally ended up in San Diego. So that's just not any old carousel. That thing is in 98. It's like 120 years old now. It, it's pretty crazy, so it's really cool to check out. Uh, there's a fish market on Saturdays. I mean, there's stuff going on. Oh, finally. Good, all right. I was hoping to catch that boat sooner or later. Cool. So anyway, yeah, lots of stuff going on at Seaport Village, boats racing around, sailboats, S totally cool shopping. So if you're ever in San Diego and you have the opportunity, it's just, I don't know, probably 20 blocks from the airport. It's probably a five minute ride on a cab or a ride sharing app. Totally easy to get here, way cool. So I highly recommend if you wanna different shopping experience, a beautiful walk, uh, some time with your sweetheart or your kids or whoever. It's really hard to go wrong with Seaport Village. I hope you come out and visit. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Get out into the world beyond, the world beyond your doorstep, and the world beyond the city limits. Please like and comment on this video, and please subscribe to me channel. Thank you very much.